How does the worm factory work? Everything that was once alive is sooner or later broken down and converted into basic components by nature. This process is called compost. Most people associate this process with a backyard compost pile or the improved rotating composter. The basic process is always the same. Microorganisms, so small a microscope is required to see them, are nature's workforce. These microorganisms, mostly bacteria, require temperature, moisture, and oxygen. To speed up the backyard compost process, turning the compost with a pitchfork or rotating the more advanced unit is advised in order to provide additional oxygen to the microorganisms. Composting worms are known as composting machines, but due to the high heat found in backyard compost piles, worms are seldom found there. The worms are crushers. They consume both organic matter and microorganisms as they work 24-7, boring tunnels through the compost. Oxygen passes through these tunnels, accelerating the composting process and eliminating the labor of turning the compost as in a backyard composter. The basic box process of placing your kitchen and household waste in a homemade box is well documented in many books and articles and is even taught in classes. However, there are several main drawbacks to this method, such as sorting the worms from the finished compost and managing the excess moisture that drains from the bottom of the box. Here is how the worm factory removes the extra labor from the basic box method. The worm factory utilizes multiple trays modified with a grid bottom, which can be stacked one on top of another. Once the first tray is filled with organic matter, add a new tray on top. This process continues, adding additional empty trays once the lower tray is filled with your kitchen and household waste. As the worms process and crush the contents of the lower tray, some of the worms migrate upward to the new food in the tray above, removing the chore of separating the worms by hand. After a few months, the compost in the first tray at the bottom of the worm factory has been processed by microorganisms and worms and is now ready for your garden or house plants. All compost requires moisture. Gravity pulls the excess moisture down through the grids in each tray into a collection tray at the bottom. When you remove worms from the soil and place them in a box, you must pay attention to their needs. Keep the worm factory out of direct sun and direct rain. Worms will die in freezing weather, and worms cannot tolerate consistent outside temperatures of over 100 degrees. There are two types of bacteria. Aerobic bacteria propagates with oxygen, requiring ample air, and creates no odor. Anaerobic bacteria propagates without air, in water, and smells like rotten eggs. The worm factory employs aerobic bacteria, creating no odor and can be operated inside of cool or warm climates. With the ability to stack the trays, the worm factory can process superior amounts of kitchen and household waste in an apartment, office, or home. Best of all, the resulting vermicompost is 100% organic and outproduces any commercial fertilizer available, a valuable byproduct from things you would normally discard. The worm factory removes the chores associated with backyard composting and the do-it-yourself box method.